up you guys? We're going to start part four of our Super Cub build, which is the plane in the background there. Um, picking up where we left off on part three, we had assembled our fuselage and our wing, tail and rudder. We left off the top of the cowl. And I went ahead and glued in my motor mount, and that's quarter inch thick balsa wood. I got here. It's actually quarter inch thick and three inches wide. And this piece we left off so we can put our push rods in here. It's our main wing. Now I went ahead and cut out for the bottom too. And that was this piece that we cut out of the balsa wood. I just laid it on a piece of balsa wood, traced it out, went ahead and cut out the, the foam that was there hot glued this in. That'll be for our landing gear and our wing struts to screw into. Alright now I'm going to move right into putting the carbon fiber rod on this wing which I've got here. And this carbon fiber rod is uh, 1.4 millimeters wide are actually thick by 4.5 millimeters wide and 24 inches long. So I'm going to take one of these. I believe they are 24 inches long. I'm going to hurt and check it. Yes, they are. So I'm going to go ahead and center this on my wing. And I put it right above the score line for your airfoil on the third one in. So on the top of the wing, you want it right on that score line. I'm not going to measure this or nothing. I'm just going to eyeball it for now. That looks pretty good right there. Go ahead and mark where it is. All right, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my wing on this flat table here. There's my J3 Cub in the background, my pilot, little Cub. Now before I CA glue this on, I want to have a flat surface so I can put the carbon fiber rod on there and then push it down on this flat table. Go ahead and run some CA glue on the carbon fiber rod. You got to put a whole lot. So I'm also going to zip tie this on. So I'm just going to set it for now. I'll go ahead and flip it over and push it down. Go ahead and hold it flat on the table. Make sure it all looks good here. Can't wait to get up to the lake to try out the J3 Cub. I went ahead and ordered some lights for it. So I've been installing those. Just want to make sure this carbon fiber rod's glued nice. Want my wing nice and straight. Don't be afraid to apply a little pressure, you guys. This 
sweet. My wings nice and straight. And what I like to do is I'll go ahead and put zip ties. All around my carbon fiber rod. So I'll just space these out. I'm just going to put four zip ties on each side. Go ahead and hit the side. I'm not going to put them all on guys, I'll just put a few on show you guys how I do it. Go ahead and hit one more out on the sun. Alright, so here I got my zip ties. I like to run them from underneath. Actually, I'm going to stick it in the bottom hole. And after I install this carbon fiber rod, I would I do all my painting first before I go applying any packing tape to finish off the wing. And just like that, you guys. So that way you have a zip tie. I got four on each side of the wing. You want to throw a zip tie down through there. And then when you install, say you install your servo, just like I got on the bottom of this wing. I would go ahead and just move your servo right in line with the carbon fiber wing spar and then put a zip tie around that right across the bottom of your servo and tie it into your wing spar. Right, let's go ahead and trim this off here and move along. All right, now we're going to get into, of course, here we got our servo mount that we installed in here. Now here's some of the parts you're going to want to pick up. Here I got the wing hold down rods with caps. And this is from the Hobby Zone Super Cub. I also got the Hobby Zone Super Cub wing struts. This stuff's pretty cheap, you guys. This is $249 for the wing struts, $1.49. For the wing hold down rods. Carbon, carbon fiber rods kind of expensive, that's like seven bucks. Alright, here I got a, went ahead and got some Dubro push rods. You know, you guys can use whatever kind you want. Any push rods with some plastic housings. get this tape off here. Now for installing these, that's why I left off, that's why I cut the top of the fuselage piece away from the tail end of it. That way we had some room to get these in. And then in the Part one, I think we punched our holes for where the rods go in. So I'll just take my poker stick. I'm going to widen these out. Widen them out and make them at an angle like that. This is the hole for the rudder. Your rudder control horn is going to be on the right side of your fuselage. So, so this is where your control horn will be. Again, I'm just widening this out with my 
poker stick here to get my control rods through. See now I'll be able to get in here and install these with no problems. We'll go ahead and push it up. Went ahead and pushed it up through the servo mount. And you guys can leave the access stuff back there. As you see the rod moves here. We'll just trim that up later. Let's go ahead and do this other side. Sometimes it'd be a little tricky getting them in, but you just work with it. So again, your rudder servo is going to be on the right side of the fuselage, and the elevator's on the left. So here I went ahead and just pushed the plastic part of the rod up through the foam, probably about a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. And I'll even take and hit some hot glue on these two to connect them back here. That way they stay nice and even instead of sitting on top of each other like that. But for now I'm going to go ahead and uh, hot glue these on. i just go ahead and hit some hot glue on the front of it here. Then on the back, really hold them in place nice and tight. You guys can go ahead and hit your your uh, servo mount with more hot glue if you need to. Just to make sure everything's in there good. When you guys put your servos in, go ahead and mount your servos down in there. Use your screws to put your servo in. Then pull them back out and just like balsa wood, you want to go ahead and hit some CA glue down inside your where you put your screw in. That way it'll make it nice and stiff. The screw will hold a lot better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two together back in here. Just get some hot glue on these two. Just wanna keep these two pieces together, nice and even. Now, again, I'm going to paint this one the J3 Cub, just like I got here. Because the Super Cub and the J3 Cub got the same body style. And as you can see, there's the Super Cub paint job. I used the E-Flight Carbon Cub Z paint scheme. Alright, so we got our push rods installed. There's an elevator. And our rudder on the right. Things looking sweet. Can't wait to get painting it. Now I was waiting in the mail for parts. And I'm still waiting on my landing gear, but the landing gear just has a slot here that you'll use your uh you know, like I got a Dremel here. That's how I cut all my balsa wood. If you ain't got one, get one. They work awesome for little stuff like this. That's how I cut out my balsa. And then I'll also create where the landing gear pushes through right here. And when you do, when you cut that out, make sure you make it small and tight. So the landing gear snap in nice and tight. Don't make it too big at first. So you can go back and shave some out as you go along just to make sure they snap in nice and tight alright so now I'm gonna go ahead since I got my control rods installed nice go ahead and wrap up the back end I'm gonna stick the top of this fuselage on here now want it to be nice and tight it has a little radius to it, so you'll have to push it down nice and tight. I 
like to go ahead and mark it so I know right where I'm at. some hot glue on this go ahead and wipe off any excess glue you guys Alright, so we got that on there now. Now our wing will come off nice and tight on there. For spots like this, I always like to take hot glue, guys. You know, wherever you got a connection. I'll take and hit it with a bead and then wipe it off with my finger. Well, way you get a nice finished product there. If you guys dent your foam on the corners at all, you can always take your nail or your metal ruler and run it down them, make them nice again. And then what I found, what I like doing, is for any spots that you have excess glue sticking out, I went ahead and used my, my wife's iron. The thing works awesome. I just ran just to heat up the iron and set your hot glue down nice and smooth. I did the same thing on the bottom of the, the wings. Just used the hot iron. Here we got our motor mount. I don't I don't install this until I get all my electronics in, my motor mounted. Alright, but let's move on to uh got some other things I gotta get done here. All right, again, I went ahead and ordered the wing mounts with caps here, wing mount rods. What I'm gonna do is, you wanna put your wing back on. Now these are our wing mount rods. These are perfect for this job here. I'm just going to kind of eyeball up where I'm going to put them. It's right there. Go ahead and make another spot in the back. Make sure they're kind of down. You don't want to put them right up near close to the top. You want to drop them down so your rubber band will stretch around down to them. Mark it right there. And that way you got a lot of foam in between there to hold your wing on real nice. I could even drop this one down a hair. Just like so. Alright, let's pull our wing back off here. Go ahead and punch through here with my punch. Go ahead and line these up. Make sure you got them going nice and straight through there. Go ahead and punch this side. So there's our front wing mount. And again, this is all just parts from the Hobby Zone Super Cub, guys. this one through here make 
sure you're lined up nice and even. I see where I'm at. Sometimes it's a little tricky getting them in, but you just work with it a little. There's our rear wing mount. And then I'll go ahead and I'll cut these down. Let's go ahead and push some caps on ends of one side. I wouldn't even glue these caps on. They push on there nice and tight. Whatever access I have, I'll go ahead and cut it off this side. Just like so. Go ahead and fire up this Dremel. sandpaper here somewhere there's uh, my little j3 cub it's all balsa wood things turn out sweet I'll go ahead and just round off these edges a little the way the caps push on there real nice our wing mounts now all right now for the wing struts I don't know how much time I got left to make this video these are the hobby zone super cub wing struts I don't even use these extra pieces here I just I'll take and screw these onto the bottom of the, the plane they're gonna be like this Make sure I show you guys real quick in case we're running out of time here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our wing back on. Snaps on there real nice. As you can see, the wing is nice and straight with the tail. Everything turned out nice. Can't wait to get paint in this one. And I just wanted to change it up the color from that. I want to use the J3 Cub colors. All right, so again, guys, when you install these wing struts, you're just gonna wanna put your screws in the bottom of your balsa wood here, and then you cut the ends off. I just trim them off wherever I want. And you know, it's probably about a, almost a quarter of your wing that you're gonna wanna hook on to so about like that much I cut off and I just punch holes I'll just punch a little hole in the bottom part of the wing hot glue them right in but go ahead and make sure you got your screws in your wing struts first before you trim them back and mount them to the wing as you see they're a little big for this plane that's why I just cut them back to about right there and then I'll hot glue them right into the wing. And that would be your wing struts. Something about like that. Awesome. Alright, again, here's your uh, nose piece in front of your cowl. I wouldn't glue that on until you get your motor all assembled. 
same with this now if you guys want to go ahead and just use a, a dab of CA glue on each piece just to hold them on for the meantime while you're painting it I mean that's what I do and then my other piece of foam here right here this is a extra piece on the bottom of the cowl that we cut out of the plans if you guys want to use this you can go ahead if not you don't have to you can just it's kind of a good idea to install it it beefs up the nose of the plane more in case you come in on the nose a little hard and then once you glue it on there you just trim it back real nice just like I, how I showed you how to trim back by your wing here anywhere I trim back and there's a lot of foam showing I just took a an extra piece of foam board and I peeled the, the paper off of it so where I cut back here to make this level with that I took and cut me a piece of paper off just to cover back up the foam that I shaved there I folded it on like that real nice and then I see I glued it down like so you push it down so that way it covers up the foam so when you paint it the foam it'll look all the same and actually for this plane I went ahead and bought some uh, film covering for balsa wood and I'm, I'm gonna use this as sticker I'm just gonna create my own windshield I like this stuff it's nice and shiny and looks like a window blacked out just to give you an idea I'll take and trim up and make myself some windows cut them to the shapes I need I'll also make the decals for the lightning bolts running down the side of the fuselage and here you can see I did it here on my floats for this bird here I got my yellow paint this is a uh, camel yellow I couldn't find no super cub yellow so I just went with camel yellow and it's really close and that's almost spot on all right you guys that'll about wrap it up for the build on this like I said go ahead and paint it then apply packing tape I run packing tape over my whole plane every spot I can get it just to make it nice and strong and waterproof and it sure is a nice plane to fly I mean in the video I shot with that one I took off from a sidewalk just to show you and I also landed on the same sidewalk alright guys that's your plans for your super cub or your J3 cub whatever whichever you prefer to make out of it and another quick tip if you guys even wanted I got this cowl off of the Hobby Zone super cub I ordered parts so I went ahead and ordered the cowl and if you guys even wanted you just could make your motor mount up here closer in cut off the nose of this where you need to and then just stick this baby right on there and you get a nice looking cowl but for mine I just go ahead and use my foam I'm just giving you guys some ideas but alright I'll get back to you when I get this thing painted and on the runway alright over and out